Selkirk arrived at Innerleithen for the Image Printers Cup final against Lothian Thistle as a team that had not seen any kind of silverware for 30 years. Also, they had just struggled through one of the most disappointing league campaigns ever. Lothian Thistle's season wasn't much better, but at least they managed to stay out of the relegation zone. They started off at a pace, Gary Black lobbing Selkirk keeper John Dodds and clipping the post. They kept up the pressure and got the reward in the 18th minute, Sean Lally making the most of a poor clearance to thump the ball past Dodds and into the net. It kind of sums up Selkirk's first half performance that this effort from Craig Livingston was their closest sniff at goal. Then Craig Lothian went into this challenge with his stud showing. Not much contact, but still a yellow card. Livingston continued to push, but the suitors were well marshalled by the Thistle defence. Selkirk heads were down as they trudged back to the dressing room at the interval. But they came out a different team after the break. Livingston almost caught Thistle keeper Chris Clark sleeping with this effort, which was eventually cleared. And he wasn't far away with this one either. A nice turn and shot from the edge of the box. The suitors were attacking in numbers now, and that made all the difference. In the 53rd minute, this Lee Seaman shot levelled the match. He enjoyed that. Six minutes later, Craig Tyson stole the ball in midfield and filtered it across to Andrew Brown, who was running down the left flank. His cross was met with power and precision by Craig Lothian at the far post. 2-1. kept the pressure up too. Here, Livingston piling the pressure on Keeper Clark. And Barry Melvin was asking questions with a free kick from midway. At the other end, Dodds was also playing his part. A fantastic save to deny Thistle to sub Philonia's free kick. A camera operator malfunction means you don't get to see Selkirk's third goal from Andrew Brown. Suffice to say, it certainly killed off any hopes Thistle had of stealing an equaliser. Selkirk, to a man, were certainly deserving of their winners' medals. Captain John Waldy and his replacement in the night, Ian Potts, lifted the trophy with pride. For once, Selkirk had something to sing about. This is Kevin Yanyak for the Southern Reporter dot co dot uk.